years ago, when I heard that Titan was having a secret meeting with our county commissioners who were inviting this toxic cement plant to come and move into my neighborhood, who was giving them over $4 million in tax incentives to do that, and then nobody asked me or any of my neighbors how I felt about that, I got a little angry. So anybody here, did Titan ask you what you thought about moving the cement plant into your area? Anybody? No, I, I didn't think so. My name is Kane Darrell, um, and I am the founder of Citizens Against Titan. We've been fighting this fight for about five years now. We started out getting petition signatures, having petition drives, and going out and talking to people one-on-one -on -one to kind of gauge what the community felt about this, what they knew about it, and they knew very little. So that was kind of our job. Obviously, one of the things that we have to recognize is our ocean and our waters. And the Cape Fear River, especially for us, leads directly into the ocean. If we spoil the Cape Fear River and we put toxins in the water, I can't do what I love to do. And it's a real possibility of our oceans being shut down. One of the things that Titan had done in the beginning was try to label this group as this small group of environmentalists, tree huggers, that were not the voice of the whole community. This was not just environmentalists. This was an entire community. People from all walks of life, doctors, teachers, students, Republicans, Democrats, that cared about this issue. We have our two newest schools that were built just a couple of miles from where they went to put this proposed plant. And so we were just the concerned citizens who were against Titan. And that's kind of how it came to be, really. Think about what we've done. This is a multinational, billion dollar corporation that thought that they could just move in here, move into our neighborhoods, and do whatever they wanted to do. And we've stopped that from happening for five years. As long as it takes us to fight this thing, it's not going to be nearly as long as the fight that we'll have if they build that plant. Our community came out. They were angry. They were courageous and they said that's not going to happen. We will not be quiet, we will not be silenced. Um, I think they realized that maybe they were messing with the wrong group of people. We've had a lot of accomplishments over the last five years. One of the biggest ones, one of the ones I'm most proud of, you know what, instead of talking about it, I'm just going to show it to you. And to me what's most impressive about this, that this is just not some online petition that you click a button and you sign. There's over 15,700 names right here. Our elected officials have an obligation and a responsibility to protect those children, and we're going to demand that they do. Keep meeting. Keep writing. Keep talking. Keep sending your emails. Take care. Thank you.